Well, I think what what came out of the, the discussion was a uh, intention to build this partnership. So the private sector saying, look, we're very keen to work with government in the state uh, to ensure that the programs go ahead, they finance it and support it institutionally, which is good. And I think what came through in the discussion, which is important as well, is to say, you know, before you can have a public-private partnership, you also need to have a public-public one. You know, the, the public one must be functional. And then around the public one, you build the private sector, because otherwise it's a risk for the private sector to work with the government or the state that's not fully functional or very dysfunctional. Now, speaking of risks, obviously the regulatory environment is very important when operating in it. I mean, would you say that South Africa or Africa as a whole has the conducive environment for businesses to thrive? I think it is uh, requires a uh, significant risk appetite, let's say, you know, because uh, it's quite risky and uh, you have to be able to commit to the first part, the development part of the project, the uh, support in terms of institutional capacity, the, you know, to be able to put the capital at risk. So you have to be able to say, we will pay for this uh, project feasibility studies. And uh, if uh, the project is successful, uh, you know, obviously then you could recoup your money. But if you find that the project is not even feasible, you just have to let that money go. Now, who's going to put that money in? So you can actually do that test for the project. It costs a lot of money. Infrastructure projects, that could be 3% uh, of the total project value. It's a lot of millions. So I think that needs to be in place. Now, speaking of projects, I mean, how do you go about prioritizing a certain infrastructure projects? How do we know that energy uh, versus building roads or rail would be more important? So um, are we looking at an infrastructure mix? Typically, I think for the private sector, because they want to get their money back, right, that they would fund economic infrastructure. Because in the end, you can get the customers and the clients at the end of that. You know, so you build in the water systems, but the mines will benefit. So you're looking for the economic infrastructure program which will build the economy. So social infrastructure is very important, but typically government would do that. Because like schools, hospitals, not really for private sector. Uh, but economic infrastructure, power stations, railways. So now it's very important then that when, as we focus on those, uh, the, you know, the government is also able to give a guarantee of sorts, not just a financial guarantee, but a guarantee that they will stay committed to those programs because these programs can't change with the head of state changes. How do you ensure that your socio-economic goals are in line with infrastructure projects? Private sector typically will support the economic infrastructure because they can get their money. Social is mostly coming from tax revenue. There are a few options here and there to privatize, maybe for you know rich, uh, rich consumers, like so certain hospitals can be private or schools, but generally be the minority.